This is uh, Nigel Farage's response to the letter he got from Dame Allison. And he also ends up by pointing out that the BBC boss, Simon Jack, had dinner with Dame Allison and then came out with this, um, or then the BBC immediately came out with the statement that uh, Farage's account had been closed because he didn't have enough money. Farage deals with all of this uh, in his programme. I must say, for once, I don't particularly care, care for Farage. I think probably he'd be quite a nice person to have dinner with or a cup of tea with. I don't like his um, views. Uh, however, I think he's absolutely right to cause a fuss about... Uh, his bank account being closed, and I think people should just simply close their accounts with coots. I, I, I'm i also horrified about the huge number of people whose accounts have been closed at NatWest. I think the banks are out of control. It's not just coots, it's not, it's not just NatWest, it's not just uh, this Dame Allison woman. It's the whole system. And uh, the banks think that they are more important than their customers. The banks need to recognise, need to realise, need to understand they are a service industry and we are the customer. They wouldn't exist without the customer. Mm. And frankly, the, uh, the the government obsession with us all having bank accounts is what has given them a sense of superiority. It's a sense of superiority that should be removed. Um, and I'm tired of the... Uh, ri ridiculous tricks that they use um, and, and these fake telephone calls uh, where they where they can leave a message saying we we called you and you didn't answer without the phone ringing and then pretend that they don't have one of those systems to be able to do that. Uh, I've had a number of messages from my bank claiming that. Uh, I don't like the deception. I don't like the superiority. I don't like the uh, failure to provide a reasonable and coherent service. And uh, I don't like the bullying. I think Farage is absolutely right. He's put his finger on something that I think a lot of people in the country can get behind. And all praise to him on this. As for the BBC and for this silly man having dinner with um, the Coots person, he needs to uh, stop being silent, get out and explain what he's doing. Because, um, again, I smell a rat, don't you? Have a, have a listen to what Mr Farage has got to say. Well, how do I respond to that? Well, of course, in life, it's always good to get an apology. So thank you, Dame Allison, for apologising. But I can't help feeling that the Treasury statement that preceded what you put out and what I've actually been told, quietly, privately, is that you were forced into doing this by the Treasury. But at least you've done it, I suppose. But the whole letter smacks of not me, Gov. Not me, Gov. I'm, I mean, I'm just the chief executive. <laughs> I mean, don't blame me for what the banks under my direct control are doing. And when you say that... And, and there was some pretty vile stuff written that I got back through that subject access report. When you say that this does not reflect the views of the bank, no, no, actually it does. It really does genuinely reflect the views of the bank. And let's remember, Dame Allison, you call it the Wealth Committee. Its real name is the Reputational Risk and Wealth Committee. And it was set up following your diversity review. So it is in many ways actually your committee. Now you do say that there's a reiteration of the offer to give me NatWest services. This offer was made verbally to me just before I went on air on GB News a couple of weeks ago. But I've got to ask you, does this include business accounts? Because last time round it was simply a personal account and I was told no solution had been found to my business problems. I also wonder if I go to NatWest, how long will it be before they close me down? Because there's no guarantee that they'll keep me as a customer. And that does genuinely concern me. I mean, it really, really does. Yes, OK, you say you understand people's and the, and, and the public's concern. I'll tell you what you should be focusing on. The 10,000 people who form together in a Facebook group of cancelled NatWest customers. That's where your focus should be, 
the outrageous, disgusting way in which you're making men and women who are going about their lives, trying to set up small businesses, you're making their life a complete and total misery. And that's where the focus should be. And it's all well and good to talk about reforms in the future. What about the thousands that have suffered already? Well, my advice to those thousands is please put in your subject access request to this bank. Find out what information they've got on you. Find out why they closed you down. For me to go public on this is, of course, embarrassing. It's embarrassing to say publicly that your bank has shut you out. I don't know what it does to my credit rating going on from here. And also, for the contents of that subject access report, for all of those appalling, untrue, and in many cases, libelous stories that have been beaten in court to be published all over the daily newspapers. I mean, you know, it wasn't something that I enjoyed doing. Didn't enjoy it one bit. I could have just walked away, but I didn't do it because I think someone needs to be a voice for those thousands, maybe tens of thousands of people who've been treated so horrifically by the banks, including yours. Someone needs to stand up for them. Someone needs to be their champion. And I'm delighted that the Treasury and the government are acting. I hope the FCA move in short order too. Uh, but I'm afraid I can't just walk away from this. I've started this and I've got to continue. So thank you for the apology. It's a start, but it's no more than that. Oh, sorry, I almost forgot. Um, on the 3rd of July, you were having dinner sitting next to the BBC's economics correspondent, Simon Jack. <laughs> and a funny thing happened, you know. At 10 o'clock the next morning, Simon Jack rang me. And he told me that the reason my account had been cancelled is that I didn't have enough money in the account. And that anyway, what was the problem? Because I'd been offered NatWest accounts. The BBC put that out, and many in the media accepted that version. <coughs> Mr. Jack, for some reason, seems to have gone to ground today and hasn't backtracked from it. <laughs> Can I ask you, Dame Allison, was it you, was it you that breached my private client banking confidentiality? Yeah. Was it you that told Simon Jack that? <laughs> well, I'm going to find out, because today I've put in another subject access request, this time to NatWest Bank, and I'm in particular looking for any personal correspondence, Dame Rose, that concerns me. So in 30 days' time, we'll know the absolute truth. That's it from me. We'll take a short break and be back in just a moment. <laughs>